Namaste. You cannot find add to dictionary activity shown on my screen. Cannot find clear dictionary activity shown on my screen. If this is the case, this video will help you. So how do you get add to dictionary? How do you get all the dictionary related activities is something we are going to see. And we will also see a practical demonstration of these activities. Before that, myself Rakesh, welcome to Expo Hub channel. In case you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and all the videos that you are watching on our channel, please do click on the like if you feel good about them. Okay, with that, let's get started. Okay, so to see these activities, first thing, you go to manage packages. And once you go to manage packages, click on all packages. And here, start typing Microsoft okay activities dot extension okay this is the this is the exact activity you have to install if not here you can also click on official the same activity you can also find it from here microsoft dot activities dot extensions and you install it okay install and save it so once this is done you will be able to see all these activities in your uipath studio okay so that answers your question how do you get it now the second part how will you use them how will you use add to dictionary activity okay what is how what is the practical way of using them so let's see that very simple let's drag and drop add to dictionary activity the moment you do this on my screen it is popping me two different things it is telling me as i said key and t value t key and t value so dictionary key and dictionary value okay confusing so let me help you so what is happening in any dictionary right there are two things always i mean in a dictionary there are two things one is key the other one is called value okay so key for example here i am entering the key key data as ram and i am saying his age is let's say 30 then I'm going to create another add to dictionary and I'm going to enter the key value as let's say Ramesh or John and I'm going to enter uh, his age is let's say 45. So something like that. So when I'm storing the data, so you can imagine an Excel file. So in an Excel file on the left hand side, we have, we are storing the names. On the right hand side, we are storing the age. So it could be any combination of data, but only two columns, okay? key and value his key and value is a kind of a pair okay so any kind of data you can store so this is what you have to have in your mind now the question is do i have to use excel you don't have to use any excel so dictionary will temporarily store this two pair data key and value temporarily in your project while you are running the project it is going to store the data so you don't need an excel file but you can get an data from excel and put it into dictionary that is possible okay but here in this demo we will not be using any excel file we'll simply understand what is the dictionary how will you create it and how to use it so let's get started so what i'm doing for the first thing let me minimize this the first thing i'm doing is i'm adding this add to dictionary activity the moment i do this it is asking me what kind of data you want to store so the first data is string and the second data is integer because that will be age so two columns right string name age done Click on OK. The moment you do this, this add to dictionary activity been added to my studio. Next thing it asking me, give me the dictionary name. So I have not created. So I will do a control plus K and I'll simply say dic dictionary. Uh, I'll give a name. Okay. Name and age. So I'm giving a name to the dictionary. So I've created it. So once you have created, I'm giving, passing the key. What is the key? Key is the first column okay so here in the key i am saying ram and value value is 32 let's say i'm entering some data so what is happening just by doing this if you go to the variable panel you can highlight the activity and you can see this is all created no error there is no syntax error but let me tell you anytime you are creating a dictionary you have to explicitly initiate that data you have to initiate the dictionary otherwise it will throw an error for example here i am not entering any kind of default data so if i don't do this and simply run it you will see it will throw me an error okay this could be the same problem you might have so how will you fix this 
so you can see the dictionary has not been initialized it is throwing me an error so you have to always initialize a dictionary type of data okay so let me do thing do this one go to the variable panel and here let me say new dictionary of so couple of things guys you have to remember okay of string comma string okay so this is how you have to declare so once done okay string uh, comma string new dictionary okay there is something still wrong right so okay this should be integer 32 right the second data is integer type so i have to say in 32 done now there is no error now if you see if i run this particular execute this particular workflow it is going to take the data there will be no error okay so now it is it has stored the data temporarily ram and 32 now you will say rakesh let's do one more one more data okay let's do one more data again it will be the same format string 32 and i'm going to use the same dictionary variable which i have just created and i'm going to give a name let's say the key name is john okay and the values let's say his, his age is let's say 26 so i've entered two data so let me run it so what is happening anytime i'm executing it is creating temporarily a data set where the key ram and a his age then john then his age being stored simple to understand now you will ask me let's see this data rakesh okay we will see the data so i am using a message box and here in the message box all i have to do is take the name of the dictionary variable i have taken the name of the dictionary variable and in bracket i want to give the key which key so let's say i want to know the age of john so the key value the key data you have to enter so either john ram or whatever your data you want to see so i'm here i'm entering john i want to see his age okay so now if i execute in the message box it should show me 26 so let me run this and quickly see that data okay so now you can see it is giving me the data called 26 now you will ask me rakesh what if i'll put the value 26 and uh, i want to know the key no that is not something allowed so the key is there so that with the key you find the value not with the value you find the key okay the alternate way is not possible okay in case you find a way let me know uh, in the comment section now the uh, there are a couple of other activities that we have let's say clear dictionary uh, get from dictionary uh, you want to clear it will completely clear the dictionary get from dictionary key exist dictionary. if some key is available or not it will give you a boolean kind of a data so let me show you one key exists string and integer click on ok and here i can give the same dictionary variable name so it, i think you can use it you don't have to uh, have a demo on this but in case you want so let's say key exists let's say i am saying ram and result will be a boolean kind of result so control plus k I'm creating a variable called exits. Okay. Now I want to see the data. I'm using this variable exits. Okay. So if I run this, so what would be the answer? Answer should be true, right? Okay. So it is coming true. So similar way, all these activities one by one, you can experiment and use them. Okay. And also let me know what you found extra out of those activities something you feel that everybody should know please share your knowledge thank you guys for watching this and as i always request you please like all the videos that you're watching if you feel good about them in case you have some feedback also pass it on the channel let us know in the comment section thank you guys thank you have a great day